One of the most important features of a city today is its wireless infrastructure, which is of course what these run on. But with the coming of super fast 5G networks, which will offer speeds and multiples of gigabits per second, cities are undertaking their largest changes to that infrastructure really ever. And it all starts with these. So what are we looking at here? Uh, right, Dan, so we're looking at a typical small cell installation. So this is how we're basically densifying networks uh, to accommodate uh, 5G technology. That's right, more small cell towers is the key for how cities will take the big jump to the faster cell service and true wireless backed smart city operations that 5G will bring in the coming years. At the beginning of cell networks, just a handful of large towers spaced apart throughout cities were all that was needed to handle the masses of calls and texts that were being transmitted back and forth. The bump up to 3G networks with the addition of things like app data and web browsing called for more of those same towers. Today, with faster 4G networks, smartphones and other cell connected devices are pulling so much data that a lot of networks are now relying on the help of small cell installations to augment service in areas of cities with slow or spotty connectivity. Christos Karmis, CEO and president of Mobility, one of several wireless tower developers working with cities and service providers, said that this small cell his company installed here on a street light to bump 4G service near the campus of USC is one of a handful in Los Angeles now, but the city will require a lot more like it before 5G can actually become a reality. Would it be one every corner, one every few corners? And how does yeah, that work not, out? Not a one every quarter, you know, corner. The average distribution is probably you know 500 meters or so, five 600 meters. So you know there'll be several thousand small cells required in every major city. And though part of the job of the new numbers of small cells will be to make faster speeds possible on the current wireless frequencies that are propping up 4G, so many new devices beyond smartphones are expected to jump onto 5G. The only way to get enough room for all of that is to expand to new wireless frequencies, ones that don't travel as far through the air, meaning towers have to be placed right in the middle of where people and devices are actually using the services, closer to how Wi-Fi works. You know, you're enabling a whole industry around IoT and sensors and you know the billions of devices that are gonna be connected to you know the networks and the internet through those services. Um, whether it's you know parking meters, water meters, you know, there's also fixed wireless. Your 5G service could be, you know, 10 to 20 gigabits per second. So you could certainly use that for all your home internet browsing you know, your video content that you're getting to your homes. Though as great of a network upgrade as that sounds, not all smart cell deployments throughout the country have gone so smoothly thus far. Complaints of needlessly messy installations have been at the center of some battles by residents to keep the small cell eyesores from filling their neighborhoods. Contractors like Mobility and Crown Castle say they've upped their efforts to improve the look of their equipment. The design here in Los Angeles is Mobility's new standard. This is kind of our preference of an installation type just because it's really clean. They all take a little bit of a different flavor depending on the jurisdiction requirements, but typically, yeah, they're either being attached to existing light poles uh, or utility poles. Now the small cell build out has also faced public fears about the exposure to radio waves the lower to the ground and more numerous towers could bring, with citizens in Santa Rosa, California this spring forcing a hole on Verizon's plans to place 72 of them in the area. Industry players like Mobility maintain their installations are safe and well within the RF exposure guidelines set by the FCC. And the commission itself this year declared strong support for a quick nationwide rollout of small cells to get 5G up and running in the US, including your neighborhood, as soon as possible. The only way that the 5G becomes a service is effectively through you know, this, the small cells.